Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Instructs on this Daily Rambles. Today we are doing Supergirl Season 1, Episode 7 called Human for a Day. So, in the last episode, I believe she just wants to be normal. And, or it was late in the previous episode that she just comes to be like a normal person for a day. Well, now she got her wish. Because um, since she overdid it fighting the other villain, uh, her powers are zapped for a little bit. And I think Jane said that Superman called it sunspots or something like that. So uh, Kara cut herself. Uh, she sneezed for the first time is getting sick at CatCo. And uh, Cat sends her home because she's like a drummer phobe. She's like, just get up out of here. Just go away. <laughs> And so uh, she goes home, and then we have a uh, a, uh, a DEO prisoner taunts Henshaw, and then there's an earthquake that happens, and Kara broke her arm with that whole thing, and then the monster escapes. I think it's called Jim, and so the DEO is on lockdown because this one has like kinetic powers or second powers. And then um, we have Supergirl's um, hologram's mother tells them about Jim. And then they have... Uh, so the Dio created a device to block Jim's powers. And then... Or, research, or the research and development team. And then we have Max as being a douche, Maxwell Lord. Saying, like, where's Supergirl? Like, I'm here doing all this stuff, but where's she at? Anyway, then we also have Kara talks to him about, uh, talks to him with James, because they're being reporters and stuff. And then Max knows that Supergirl lost her powers. And then we have uh, two DU agents are down when they go to try to find the gym monster person. And then Max and um, everyone tries to save um, a man, but nothing works because of um, he's having a heart attack and he's not really a doctor doctor, so he can't really do anything about it. Then Carr gets really mad that she can't do anything, and then we have Wynn is um, spazzing out at CatCo <laughs> and um, basically trying to fix all the uh, wires and stuff so uh, Cat can transmit a transmission to everyone to calm everyone down. So Cat tries to inspire Win and it works. And then uh, we have Car again. It's being like uh, down on herself and starting to be irrational. And then we have D of Madness happening. Then we have Supergirl stops a robbery. Basically, what she did was she dressed up like you know. Uh, like Supergirl and went in and basically gets them to be like, um, then we also see Cat gives a speech of encouragement. The DO, um, Alex confronts Henshaw and James Akara bond over photos. So basically what they did was uh, she dressed up as, um, Supergirl went to the store and managed to stop people from looting and to basically, don't be like a douche, basically, <laughs> and it works. And then we have Wynn walks in on Kara and uh, James, and then Wynn gets really angry. <laughs> and then aftershock kicks in, and then there's a gas gas explosion, and then the gym there's Jim versus Alex. Uh, so she hits him in the gym with a gun. And that knocks out off his suckability, and then Hank offs him. Then James climbs up elevator shaft to help people. Then James stumbles in the wire breaks, and then Jim falls, and Supergirl saves him. So her um, powers get back to Angels, it would help James. Then Supergirl um, saving the day. And then we have Alex and Henshaw talk some more. And it turns out he is not who he says he is, but he is John Jones. A green Martian. And then I uh, tell the story of what really happened. So basically he rescued, his father rescued him. No, John Jones rescued John Jones and then he did the same and 
the real Henshaw showed up and tried to kill John, but the dad stopped him, and they both went over a cliff, and he didn't see anything. So Henshaw transformed himself into John, and that's why he is part of the DEO. And then we cut to where Wynn is still really mad at Kara because of the whole thing. Because, you know, he had a pretty adamant crush on her. And she's just not feeling the same way at all. And then we have Supergirl talks to Kat and thanks her. And then uh, Kat literally is is stern with her. But Supergirl said um, that she inspired her. And then it's Astra comes in versus Supergirl. <laughs> and that's the end of the episode. So, uh, yeah. Pretty crazy scene. Um, episode. I'll give this an A+, because you get to see that Kara did get her wish, but in turn, she really wanted to be Supergirl at the end of the day to help people. And that's what she was to do. That's what she wants to do. So, the fact that she was human for a day really frustrated her. So, I've I feel like that was a good um, type of episode. A little bit, I guess, like cathartic in a way. I don't know. Anyway, I really like the episode, but um, I'll give this uh, a minus. I just don't like Maxwell Lord at all. <laughs> He's just, from day one, just being a douchebag. I feel like he could have been like a little bit nicer than ease his way into douchebagginess and not just hit it right off the mark. Because I feel like that's been done like too many times. So I feel like they just kind of slowed it down a little bit. And like made it more gradual, you know, it'll be better. But other than that, it was a really good episode. I really enjoyed it. And I think that's going to do it for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below to what you think, and then subscribe. Any suggestions for any other TV shows, music, or movies, also let me know down below. And for once, I did not goof that up. That A plus for me. So I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, everybody.